Hello viewers, welcome back to my channel. Today's topic of discussion is on link state routing algorithm. So in my introductory class to unicast routing protocols, I had given a classification intradomain and interdomain. And for intradomain, we have the distance vector routing and the link state routing. And for interdomain, we have the path vector routing algorithm. So uh, the previous video sessions, I have explained about the distance vector routing algorithm. The next is the link state routing algorithm. So this algorithm works on digit cross algorithm. So this particular link state routing in each of the node in the network, every node should run what the digit cross algorithm here to arrive at the shortest path from one node to every other node in the network. So what is the basic function of this particular routing algorithm? The, it is used to find the shortest path from one node to every other node in the network. If you take node A, what is the shortest path to reach B? What is the shortest path to reach D? What is the shortest path? So which are the different nodes in the network? For all those nodes, what is the shortest path? Basically, when you see the distance vector routing, there when you write the forwarding table, even you are trying to find out what the shortest path to reach the destination node. Similarly, here also for the link state routing, where main aim is to find the shortest path to reach to every other node in the network. That means for every node, you are having a forwarding table. In distance vector also, you are having what? Forwarding table for every node. Now, the difference here is the approach. How the forwarding tables are getting constructed. In the distance vector routing, the node was, what? The node was sharing the complete information about all other nodes in the network to its neighbor. But in link state routing, it shares the information only about the neighbors to all other nodes. It is simply like, if I have to tell you the exact difference between our distance vector and the link state, in distance vector routing, every node tells about the entire internet to its neighbors, whereas in link state routing, every node will tell about its neighbors to the entire internet. So here in distance vector routing, it was maintaining what a vector here, the distance vector, every node was maintaining a vector. So initial vector was there. Finally, after exchange of uh, uh, vectors, the final router, uh, final vector was getting constructed. Here, what actually is maintained by every node? Only information about the neighbors. So look here, the question can be in this manner, construct the forwarding table for node A. Now in this example, they have given which one? You need to construct the forwarding table for the node A using the link state routing for the network. So for this to start, begin with, you need to write the LSP, link state packet. That is, every node will first write only about its neighbors. Like suppose if node A is there, node A is connected to what? B and D. So it will maintain only about the two nodes, two neighbors here. So it is going to write what? This is the destination. Fine. And what is the cost here? Two. And what is the cost to reach three? This is maintained by node A. Similarly, you can write down for D also here. Fine. D is connected to two nodes. So which are those? A and E. To reach A, it is three. And to reach E, it is five. So we say this as link state packet. This link state packet is sent to the neighbors. The neighbors will in turn send their link state information to their neighbors. So the link state information is sent to all, uh, like uh, is exchanged with the nodes. And finally, the link state database is constructed for the, by every node in the network. Now this link state packet, whenever a node receives from its neighbor, it always checks what is the sequence number of the link state packet. What happens is every time, suppose if B wants to send the link state packet to the neighbors, it will put on this interface, this interface and this interface. Then once again, when it gets a new update, it start placing that packet into this, onto this, onto this and onto this. That means A may receive the new update also from the neighboring node B. In that case, it will check the sequence number that that particular packet carries. If the sequence number is higher, it indicates a fresh update and it will take, okay, and it will update its link state information. Now, and what it does is it will place once again on the interfaces. If it has got two interfaces, it will place on the, on, in this particular case, see, if A is receiving the LSP from B, let us take uh, one more uh, step in this manner. If B is receiving LSP from C, then B will place the LSP onto this interface and this. 
not onto the interface from which it is received. Similarly, when B sends the LSP to A, A is receiving from this in, on this interface. So it will place that link state information on this interface. So this way, the LSP packets are getting what uh, shared among all the nodes in the network. So if this is the question, first and foremost thing is you try to just write down the LSP information for all the nodes that are given. This is E. E is having how many nodes? Three. So D is there. B and F. Fine. D is reachable at least 5, B is 4 and F is 2. This is what the, yeah, this is about the E. Fine. And next is about F. F is also connected to how many? Uh, 3 networks. Sorry, 3 nodes. F is having what? So I'll just write here, this is about F you are writing. The destinations, the different destinations for F is E, uh, C and G. E is reachable, okay, the cost is 2, C, the cost is 4, and G, the cost is 1. So this way you are going to, let me finish for the remaining also. G is connected only to two nodes, fine. So which are those? C and F. What about C? The value is 3 here. For G, uh, G to F, it is 1. So you are writing this for G. I am just writing here, okay, for which particular node the LSP con constructed. Better in the examination, you are going to write even what the column headings for the LSP. Destination cost, destination cost. That is also very much required. Instead of writing directly here, you are going to write what destination in the second column is cost. This one you are writing for E. Right? Like that you try to uh, carry out for all this. Now what about B? B is, have, B is connected to how many? Three. Three nodes. Right? B is connected to A at a cost of 2. B is connected to C at a cost of 5. B is connected to E at a cost of 4. This is the table for B. LSP for B. Then C is also connected to three nodes. Fine. C is connected to B at a cost of 5. C is connected to F. 4. C is connected to G at a cost of. C is connected to G at a cost of 3. This is for the C. So first and foremost thing is you just start writing the LSPs for each of them. You can actually the question is construct the forwarding table. But before you uh, write the forwarding table, you are supposed to construct the Least cost tree. So let us start constructing the uh, least cost tree for the node A. The question is actually to construct the forwarding table for the node A. So in order to arrive at the values in the forwarding table, you will be what? Constructing the least cost tree. That is, in the least cost tree, actually what it actually means is you are going to have the tree for node A. Node A reaching every other node in the network with the shortest distance. So the procedure, whatever method I am following, okay, to arrive at the forwarding table is slightly different from few people who uh, follow a different method. Ultimately, the algorithm used is the Dictras algorithm only, but I usually go with this form of like constructing the tree for the root node and then uh, uh, writing the forwarding table. So refer on always the LSP here. This is the root node A. Root node is connected to B and D, fine. Now you are writing what to the tree you are adding these neighboring nodes, B and D. A reaches B, what is the distance to, sorry, what is the cost to, D is 3. So what will be the distance? Whatever you write on the link is the cost. Then whatever is the value that you write beside to this node becomes the distance. Since there is only one link here, the cost itself is the distance in this case. So this is the root node. The distance for the root node A to reach B is 2. I will write it in bracket and in red color. This one is 3. So you have visited root node A. Next is you try to do for B and D. Now in, in this particular example, you start anything. Either you take B or D, anything is okay. D is connected to which nodes? A and D. D is here. Okay, it is connected to A and D. A is already visited. Then no, actually now you are visiting the node D in that it is connected to A and E. A is already visited. It is only what? D. You have to write down what? E. A is connected to E. D to E is how much? 5. Then A to E will be how much? 8. A can reach E at a cost of 8. So whatever you write here, when you add a particular node, Whatever you have written one level above in the hierarchy, make that as the final distances. Still this one you keep it pending because we don't know whether node A will find in any other alternate path with a smaller value 
to reach knee. That we need to check. That's why I'm not just using the arrow direction here. It's a temporary. Next is you come to this section. Now this side, node B. Okay. So this one you have completed. Now come to node B. Node B is connected A, C and E. A is already visited. Left over uh, the other nodes are C and one more is E. Fine. B is connected to C at a cost of 5. B is connected to E at a cost of 4. Now what will be the distance? 2 plus 4. A can reach E at a cost of 6. A can reach C at a cost of 7. Now in, when you write like this, then you can compare. Okay, yeah, here there is a value 8. Here there is a value 6. So we are always looking for what? The shortest path. That means at this lowest value, we have the particular no, uh, root node can reach the other node. So root node A will find this particular distance as more beneficial. The cost is lesser. That's why this one you can delete. But this you keep it. Now you, you, are, you are just trying to say that, yes, I'll finalize this particular E node. So now come to the, which are the other nodes now? The leaf node C is there. So let us go for the next one, C. C is connected to B, F and G. B is already visited. F and G. Yes, these two are there. So you can write down F and G. C is connected to B. Sorry, F. 4. C to G is 3. Then what about A to F? 7 plus 4, 11. Then A to G. 7 plus 3, 10. 7 plus 3, 10. So then next is what? Come to the next level. This one now you cannot proceed. Whatever you have finalized after that, the there is no meaning for the root node A to go via this node now. So it will stop here only. But what about node E? Yes. For node E, you have to check. Visit the node E. It has it is connected to D, B and F. D, B are already visited. F is not visited. So add F. D, E to F. E to F is how much? 2. What about A to F? It will be 6 plus 2, 8. Then you have at this level, okay? You can see there is one F. A can reach F at a cost of 8. A can reach F at a cost of 11. So which one is lower? This one. So actually we have to delete this. So once you delete this particular path, then there is no meaning in continuing for F. Now you are left with G and F, okay? So this also you have deleted. Only these two are there. So you try to add nodes to G and F. G is here. G is connected to C and F. C is already visited. F you can definitely add here. G to F is how much? 1. So A to F will be how much? 11. Okay. This is completed. Next is F now. F is connected to E, C and G. E, C are already visited. G is visited but still we haven't finalized this G. Hence we will see that whether we will get a lower cost here. So we will add G here. F to G. F to G is 1. So 8 plus 1 is how much? 9. So when you see this value for G and when you see this value for F, Actually, F, this 11 is already cancelled. So, there is no meaning in continuing this. And what about G? G, we got a value. A to G is 9. Here, A to G is 10. So, this will get deleted. This is the lowest compared to this one. Fine. So, now finally, what will be the final tree? After carrying out these many iterations, you have found out that this part, I will just circle this, whatever you have finalized. Okay, because this, this and this one, these three parts you have deleted. So once you get this least cost tree, you can construct very easily the forwarding table. How to construct the forwarding table? Same uh, way you have to start writing what, whether it is distance vector or whether it is uh, uh, link state routing, the three columns are there always, destination. Okay, cost and next hop. This one is what? The forwarding table for A. Remember you are doing it for A. And you have to write in the destinations all the nodes that are available in the 
नेटवर्क ए बी सी डी ई एफ एंड जी वेरी सिंपल वंस यू हैव कंप्लीटेड द ट्री यू कैन फिल द वैल्यूज वेरी इजीली फर्स्ट एंड फॉरमोस्ट ए टू ए कॉस्ट इज जीरो ए टू बी ए टू बी कॉस्ट इज टू द नेक्स्ट हॉप इज टू सॉरी द नेक्स्ट हॉप इज बी ए टू सी द कॉस्ट इज सेवन वर गोइंग वाई आर दिस पार्ट नो सो द नेक्स्ट हॉप इज बी ए टू डी द टोटल डिस्टेंस इज थ्री फाइन एंड द नेक्स्ट हॉप इज डी ओनली ए टू ई the distance is 6 okay and what about yeah you are going via b a to f 8 via b next stop is b a to g how much what is the distance yes distance is 9 and it is via b so this is how you have to construct the forwarding table for a given uh, for a root node whatever whichever node is asked this particular question now they may ask you to construct the forwarding table for node b there is a possibility that they could forwarding table for node c just for one graph we have so many possibilities okay to frame a question and also not just this network given any network graph okay whatever root node is mentioned in the question for that root node for that node only you are going to construct the forwarding table and to arrive at the values in the forwarding table you have to construct the least cost tree and to construct the least cost tree first and foremost thing is you should start writing the link state packet information for each of the node this is how the least cost tree is constructed using the link state routing algorithm and uh, difference between the distance vector and the link state vector also i have informed you earlier in the very beginning of this session i have conveyed to you here you can see only the neighboring information is forwarded to their neighbors whereas in distance vector the complete whatever nodes are there in the network for all those nodes the complete information is forwarded to their neighbors so this is the main difference between the link state vector and the uh, distance vector routing to carry out a solution for this type of problem is quite simple just to, uh, follow the steps and definitely it is easy also to score 7 to 8 marks definitely uh, minimum is for 6 marks it is asked this particular question complicated graph will be there or a simpler graph depending on the graph the marks will be decided right so hope the explanation is clear to you all thank you take care bye bye